this morning we are going to make a simple raisin cinnamon bread sure to impress everybody in your house so let me show you the ingredients and then we'll get started and here's our ingredients we've got about a half a cup of room temperature milk about a half a cup of warm water about 120 degrees about a teaspoon and a half of salt We've got a cup of raisins. Now I put some rum in there. I'm gonna let it soak while this process is taking place. I like Brazilian rum. Brazilian rum's actually distilled with sugar cane. It tastes a little bit different than, and a lot of people cook with Bacardi, a dark rum. You can, that's great. I kind of like this better. Anyway, use what you want, right? We've got a, two cups of bread flour. I'm sorry, three cups of bread flour two eggs half a cup of sugar five teaspoons of butter a teaspoon also another teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon and of course we got the yeast so let me show you how to package this thing up and we'll get started okay again you want to make sure that your water is about 120 degrees so that we can get the yeast to activate. So let's pour in our yeast. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's activated. I'm gonna take about a tablespoon, about a tablespoon of sugar. What that's gonna do is it's gonna feed the yeast and get it started. It's just a little bit easier, I think. To activate the yeast first before we before we start. All right. So we're gonna take our flour. We're gonna set this aside for a couple minutes. That's gonna take a couple minutes to start activating. And we are going to kind of mix in our dry ingredients. We're gonna take our sugar. Take our tablespoon and a teaspoon and a half of salt. And one more thing I kind of forgot to mention, we're gonna use about a tablespoon and a half of cinnamon. So we're gonna put our cinnamon in here. And this is this is gonna give our dough kind of a flavor with the sugar and the cinnamon. It's a bread, but we want to make the bread sweet too, right? So well, now we've got everything mixed in our bowl. I'm going to use a mixer just because, again, I like the tools and gadgets. So we're going to use this. You can Use a regular mixer with little hand mixers. Most everybody don't have that kind of stuff, but anyway. I'm gonna put my gel hook on here. And we're gonna start incorporating all this stuff. Let me set this thing up. Now I've heated up my butter a little bit just because it's easier to deal with. You really don't want anything cold in here because we're gonna to have to let this sit and rise for a while. So let's start pouring in our ingredients. We got our egg. We're gonna put in our room temperature milk. Okay, our yeast is actually ready. This is what it looks like. It's kind of foamy. And it's gonna kind of separate. It's gonna smell, it's gonna smell like yeast, actually. So we're just gonna start pouring it in here with our mixture. 
like I've said before on our mixture, if you gotta add a little bit of water or you gotta add a little bit of flour, no big deal. Everybody's got their own different ways of making stuff. I'm gonna get all that yeast in there. So you gotta sit here and stir this up and make sure everything is all incorporated. If you don't have a mixer, use your hand. You're gonna have to knead it for about 15 minutes until everything becomes nice and kind of, uh, kind of a little bit sticky. But it doesn't stick to the table. It kind of feels like dough. I'm going to let this sit here and do this for a little bit. Okay, our dough is actually ready. I just did this for probably about five minutes. And what you're going to get is something like this. Dough ball. It's not sticking to my hands. It feels nice and smooth. Now what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take a little bit of oil, olive oil, and I'm going to put it in the pan. I'm just going to kind of cover the bottom of it. I'm going to make kind of a ball. I'm just going to plop it in there and I'm going to put a little oil on the top. Kind of smooth it around. And what we're going to do at this point is we are going to preheat our oven. Just for a second. Just gonna let it preheat for about, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 seconds. Just kind of get, what I wanna do is I wanna get the oven nice and warm. Cause I'm gonna have to set this thing in here for probably about, probably about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour so it can rise. At this point, I don't know, go mow the grass, wash the car, do the dishes, do something. Entertain yourself for about an hour and then come back. Okay, turn that off. Make sure you turn it off or you're going to have a burning bag smell. Anyway, take this. We're going to cover it up. Get a bag. I don't know, a lot of people use a towel. I don't know, this is easier. We're just going to set it in here, and we are going to come back. Okay, it's been, been a little over an hour now. It's kind of chilled out. I was going to mow the grass, but it's raining outside, so if I look a little different, it's because I just shaved my head and shaved my face, sat around watched TV for an hour. Okay, anyway, enough about me. Let's look in the stove and see if our... Dough's ready. I think that's what we were doing today, right? <laughs> okay. Get it out of our oven. Damn, look at that. It's supposed to rise at least double in its size. So. We're going to get the rest of our ingredients out and Basically, we're going to start making our pan, right. some more flour and our finished dough. So we're going to spread some flour out on the countertop. Yay. A little bit on our rolling pan. And we're going to pull our dough out. Punch it down a little bit. And we'll get it out.
full of air, so sometimes it's a little hard to roll it out. This wants to go back to its ball. But keep doing this and show who's boss for a little bit. Soon enough, we'll get the shape that we want. I want to put it into like about a rectangle because we're going to roll it so it fits into our pan. So now what we're going to do is we are going to get our other ingredients, our sugar and cinnamon mixture. And I am going to take a little bit of butter. Just some butter, margarine, put it in there, about a, about a tablespoon of butter. And I'm going to put it in the microwave for just a second. I'm going to pause this for just a minute. Okay, I got some butter here melted with our cinnamon and our sugar. And I'm going to just stir it up. And what we're going to do next is we are going to spread it out onto our bread dough. So we're going to take a brush and we're just going to start smearing this on here. Now that we've done that, I'm going to take some more cinnamon I have some cinnamon that's mixed up with some sugar already and we are just going to sprinkle it on here. Pretty thick. And now we're going to take our raisins that have been soaking in our Brazilian rum. Now I took these and heated them up a little bit in the microwave. I don't, I'm not going to recommend doing that. It is alcohol. I don't know what happens if you leave it in there too long. However, I put it in there for about 20 seconds, a couple of times. I don't know. Maybe it blows up. I don't know. Whatever. Don't try it. Maybe set it on top of your countertop. And we are just going to spread this out. Man, rum smells good. Spread it out nice and even. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it so that it'll fit in our pan. 
our pan, basically a bread pan. We're gonna spray it so that it doesn't stick. Some people roll flour in there. I don't think it's necessary. And we are gonna start rolling this bad boy. You wanna to try to roll it evenly, because when it rises, sometimes it looks a little awkward. But if it tastes good, it doesn't matter what it looks like, right? So let's roll this thing up like a taco. And I'm gonna take the sides and I'm just gonna kinda tuck them underneath. I'm gonna try to tuck them together evenly. So this is all the same size. And then I'm gonna stick it in my pan. Just like so. Now, there you go. Now that don't look like bread, does it? So guess what? Now we've got to stick it back in the oven. We're going to cover it back up with our plastic. And we're going to let it sit in there for about another hour. So you got to go entertain yourself for about an hour. Not you, because I'm just going to fast forward it. You know, you'll never know. Okay. Put it in my plastic. We're gonna set it in the oven. back to it. Okay, it's been a couple hours now. We're gonna pull it out of the oven, see what it looks like. I think it's about ready. Actually, it's been about an hour and 30 minutes. All right, let's see. All right, look at that, nice and, nice and fluffy. So at this point, what we're gonna do we're going to take our remaining egg. I bet you thought I forgot about this extra egg, right? Put the egg in there. We're going to preheat our oven about 350 degrees. And we are going to mix this egg and we are going to baste top of this egg, I mean the top of this bread, so that it has a nice shiny coat. So I'm just kind of put it on here. This will make it kind of crispy on the top. Coat it here all on there. Okay. That's it. I'm gonna let our oven heat up. Then we're gonna put it in there for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna check on it. Okay, well, 30 minutes later, here's what we got a beautiful raisin bread, cinnamon raisin bread. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it cool off. I am going to take it out of the pan. Should just come right out. If I can do this, not burning myself. And bam. 
let that thing cool down for a little bit. And then we're gonna cut into this bad boy. Okay. I'm gonna use an electric knife to cut it. I find that it's a little easier to cut. So I'm gonna cut a piece of this and try it out. pretty. I'm sure you'll impress everybody with that. So there you go. Easy to do. Cinnamon raisin bread. Man, that is some good stuff. Well, thanks again for watching. Till next time. Enjoy. Cheers.